Hi everyone, it's Robin. Please excuse the messy recycled bag that I use for inking and painting, um, but I wanted to just share with you, I've been working on this summer banner using the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Mix and Match Color Gelatos. And I've used uh, several different color families, but this is what the, the banner base will look like. And uh, I have a couple more layers. Sorry, there's a big, huge truck going by. I have a couple more layers that are going on top of it, so it'll be a little more uh, muted uh, or, I guess, covered up. But I wanted to go ahead and share with you. I cut these on my Cricut, and I used, um, I used watercolor paper, and I just used my deep cut blade and cut twice. And um, I'm not sure where these banners came from. Um, I think the Close to My Heart Art Philosophy cartridge, um, but I was using my Gypsy. So uh, basically, these are the colors that I have used. The Mango, Cotton Candy, Lemon, and the Guava. And I've just kind of alternated the, the way that I um, put the colors on. First, I spritz it. Again, this is watercolor paper, so it can take a lot more water. And um, then decide, let me see, I have a couple with the blue on top. I think I'll go pink. Um, and you just color it on. It's super fast and a lot of fun. Now you can go ahead and mix it before adding your other color. Let me go ahead and add the, the blue. Super fun. And you just feel like you're just coloring and just playing. So I think this is going to be a really fun summer banner. And it measures just five inches in height, so it's not going to um, take a long time to come together. Oops. Um, but uh, just a lot of fun. And I, I am enjoying using these color gelatos. They're just really easy to work with. And I think my kids will have fun playing with them. Even while well, they're teenagers, I don't have real little ones. So, and I think this dried a little bit. So let me just go ahead and add a little bit more water. And then mix this yellow out. And just kind of blend it. So, and then you could ink around the edges. Now this is, um, you can add a little bit more because I think this orange got a little bit muddied. But um, just a lot of fun to play with. And I will be back to um, share with you the finished, um, let me just go ahead and show you one that's not muddied up. But uh, I'll be back to show you the finished banner in just a little bit. Okay, so here is the finished banner. I didn't attach them together yet because I thought it would be easier to just share it with you um, as they're all apart and just share each piece rather than dragging it along my desk. Um, so as you can see, I kept it very, very simple. I've used some Echo Park papers, and this yellow paper is just plain yellow cardstock, but the backing, um, you'll notice with the watercolor paper, it's it did curl a little bit, and I could still, you know, after these flowers, the glue dries, um, I can still work work with it. It's very pliable, but yet it's stiff and durable. So this cut really well with my Cricut, and I think the gelatos worked really well with that to create this background uh, summery bright theme. So that's the S. Here is the U, and I did ink around the edges with different colors. I used yellow, um, a new Stampin' Up! in color primrose something or other. Let me see what is it called. Primrose petals. And then I also used an orange. So here's the. Um, so they're all basically the same. They all have the same elements. Um, I did all these cuts with my Cricut and the Gypsy. Um, added some summer um, sweetheart blossoms as well as a button and some twine. And these uh, self adhesive rhinestones. These are all from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, the twine, the rhinestones, and the uh, sweetheart blossoms. I added a couple of eyelets that I'm going to use to um, insert my twine in there. Here is the M. So they all vary. You'll never get two that are identical because it just matters, you know, it depends on how you blend, how, how much you apply of the color gelatos onto your watercolor paper. Or I could use canvas, but this worked fantastic because I thought about using the um, canvas, but I would have had to back it with chipboard and this just worked out really nicely. So let me um, see if I can back out a little bit. Let me move these ones down. You can kind of get an idea. So it was just a fun project. It didn't take long at all and I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. And I will have the link to uh, the 
uh, Design Memory Craft and uh, their Twitter and Facebook and everything linked in the information bar down below. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I guess this would be part two of this video. Um, I wasn't initially planning on sharing another project, but I had so much fun making the summer banner that I thought I would go ahead and make um, like a 4th of July banner that just says USA. So I cut out this watercolor paper um, using my Cricut and then um, you know my Gypsy. So um, what I'm going to do is I have some of this Tim Holtz paper. I'm not sure what collection this is from. It's an older one that has the flags and it's just patriotic and and, um, and then I also have this one. So um, the products that I'm going to use to color these, I'm going to use the red color gelato set as well as this dark or royal blue uh, from the blue color gelato set. So uh, let me go ahead and get started. Basically, you're going to use the same technique that I shared. I'm going to make one red, of course, leave one white, and uh, one blue. Let me just figure out here. So this one's going to be red, and then this one is going to be white. I'm getting the ones out of the way. Okay, so this is going to be my red stack. Yeah, and this is going to be my blue stack. So let me adjust my lighting just a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Um, just mist it a little bit and then let me get my gelatos out first. So I'm going to use this blue which is the boysenberry and I'm hoping this is a true. I should actually test it out first. Okay so that's a pretty bright blue and then let me see this one. Oh I like that one too. You know what I think I like this one better and this one's the blueberry. Um, but I guess it will just all be determined on this, how, uh, which one matches better with this red cherry. So we'll go ahead and use that. You know, I really like this one. So we're going to go ahead and use the blueberry and the red cherry. So the U is going to be the red. Get this out of the way here. I'm trying to keep things organized. So this is just really casual kind of tutorial to share and again with you just me playing and just having a good time. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and do the red up at the top. I'm going to try not to get have too much bleeding. And then the blue down at the bottom. Make sure my fingers are clean. Yeah, I think I like this a whole lot. Wow, that's nice. I like that. It might not be showing up as well on the camera. But let me go ahead and mix this or mix this in. And get a baby wipe out here to sop up what's dripping. Just kind of. So it's kind of bright. I'm not sure if it's going to go well with the Tim Holtz um, papers, but we're just going to roll with it. So this is what the first one looks like. Maybe I will blend this down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to set this to one side to dry. And I'm going to work on the red letter. <clears throat> Miss this. So I was kind of worried if this was going to bend the letters, but it looks like they're pretty, it's pretty sturdy cardstock or watercolor paper. Boy, I really like this. Okay, so I'm going to um, just add a little bit more red here and then set this aside and work on the other one. Okay, so wipe my fingers off. Here is the U, and here is our bomb pop. <laughs> no, here is our uh, patriotic banner. And then the first letter. Now I am going to work on this one. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll just flip this over, start with a fresh slate. <clears throat> you guys don't mind watching me play, do ya? Let's soft that up a little bit. You know, I'm going to get a different white because that has yellow on it. Okay.
So you just spread it on here as much as you want. And then mix it in. Okay, and then I'm going to use the blue down here at the bottom again. Just color it on here. Yeah, I really like this blue. It's so pretty. But it definitely does remind me of a bomb pop. I guess that is that what they're called? Bomb pops? Looks like a rocket. We lived out in the country, so we very rarely got to see the ice cream man where we lived. Just out in the boonies. Not boonies, I shouldn't say that, but uh, just out in the country. Country Mile you know, wasn't real productive for, a, for an ice cream man. So this is this one. Okay, the red at the top. Let me mix this up some. And then the blue down at the bottom. Let me dab this. I'm just going to blend this. These are so simple to work with. Super easy. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to set these aside to dry. Set them up here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I got a little bit of red on here. But I'm going to go ahead and mist this blue. I don't think you can. I don't, I don't think you'll be able to tell once it's on here because this blue is pretty concentrated. Okay. Blend this in. There, you can't even tell it had splotches on it. Okay, so here is our A, and I'm going to go ahead and set this aside to dry. Such pretty colors. Again, this was the blueberry and the red cherry. And what I'm going to do now is uh, clear away these papers. And let me see what I'm going to do here. Okay, so I think I'm going to take this, I don't know how it's going to look on here, but we're going to try it. And I'm going to cut a 12 by 1 inch strip. One and a quarter inch strip. I'm just going to see how this works. And adjust it as needed. I'm going to score it every half an inch. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. Just folding this concertina or um, accordion style, pinching it down to kind of burnish those score lines. And let me see. I'll use some score tape just so I don't have to wait for any glue to dry. Okay. You see these both end in a kind of a dip down toward a valley, so let me snip off one. So I'll add adhesive right here.
Okay, so this is the size. Let me just see here. This one I did first. Yeah, that looks like a good size. And then we'll put the letter in the center. Okay, so what I decided I'm going to do is add a little bit of red ink. And this is cherry cobbler to this. Just a hint of it. I should have actually done it before I got it together, but we'll see how it works out. Just to kind of define the edges. <clears throat> then I'm going to also add some tea dye because this is really primary. And I want to, I'd like to use the papers you know, the, from the Tim Holtz collection. I really don't, I don't have any other patriotic papers here in the States. So let's see. I don't want to add too much because then it won't match. Okay, so here's what this looks like so far. And then I'm also going to get a little bit of tea dye. See, this is pretty dry. Just add that around the edges. Still a little bit wet, but. This one's a little bit lighter, so I'll put this one in the center. ahead and ink up the edges here a little bit with the tea dye distress ink just to take away that white this one's still a little bit wet so I'm going to bring it to me so I can be more gentle with it Trying to do this upside down and go this way. Okay, so this is what we're looking at so far. Okay, there is the um, gist of what it's going to look like, and I'm going to go ahead and finish assembling this and get the jute twine. I have some jute string here I'm going to use to tie this together um, but I don't um, I don't need to make this video any longer so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and I will be back to show you the finished banner. Okay so this is the very simple very basic banner that didn't take very long at all and it has a cute patriotic home decor piece and uh, all I did since being off camera I made these rosettes and uh, you saw me color all the letters. I added this little uh, few little pearls there, some natural um, cotton knitted lace from Wild Orchid Crafts, and then just this jute string, and that was it. So I'm going to go ahead and hang this on my covered porch and see how it fares over the next month for 4th of July. And I um, can't show you how it looks hanging, but super cute and simple. And so I hope that you'll give the colored gelatos a try. They're a lot of fun. And um, I, just, I just keep making stuff with them. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.